Evening, I'm Dan Wolf. Laura has the night off. Thanks for joining us. Some big developments tonight involving last week's homicide in downtown Duluth. While we're learning more about what happened, Duluth police have issued arrest warrants for three people now. now this all happened about 2.15 in the morning of Friday, April 12th, one week ago. According to court documents, there was a group of people gathered outside the bar Spurs on 1st on West 1st Street and North 1st Avenue. According to police, the victim, Chantel Moose, was talking to a man when Darius Plummer told that man Moose was not worth the trouble. That's when Moose's friends started arguing with Plummer. A plumber had a knife and started making threats. A Spurs bouncer was there and tried to separate the two. At one point, Moose apparently swung at Plummer. A plumber then allegedly reached over the bouncer's arm and stabbed Moose in the neck. She later died at the hospital. A plumber ran off. Another man, Camonte Cadge, chased Plummer, allegedly hit him with a gun and shot once in his direction. While the bouncer was trying to corral everyone back inside the bar, a third man, Trayvon Walters, allegedly shot twice toward Cadge and Plummer. Now, police are searching for those three men tonight. They say Plummer was, has not been found despite extensive efforts. Now, Walters apparently left the scene in a vehicle and is believed to be out of state. Cadge went into the Kingsley Heights apartments after the shooting and was taken to a hospital with a gunshot wound. His condition is not known. Now,